Chapter 7. The Beasts Are Appeased When Adam and Eve heard these words from God, they cried and sobbed yet more. But they strengthened their hearts in God, because they now felt that the Lord was to them like a father and a mother. And for this reason, they cried before him and sought mercy from him. Then God had pity on them and said, O oh Adam, I have made my covenant with you, and I will not turn from it. Neither will I let you return to the garden, until my covenant of the great five and a half days is fulfilled. Then Adam said to God, O oh Lord, you created us, and made us fit to be in the garden, and before I transgressed, you made all beasts come to me, that I should name them. Your grace was then on me, and I named every one according to your mind, and you made them all subject to me. But now, O oh Lord God, that I have transgressed your commandment, all beasts will rise against me, and will devour me, and Eve your handmaid, and will cut off our life from the face of the earth. I therefore beg you, O oh God, that since you have made us come out of the garden, and have made us to be in a strange land, you will not let the beasts hurt us. When the Lord heard these words from Adam, he had pity on him, and felt that he had truly said that the beasts of the field would rise and devour him and Eve, because he, the Lord, was angry with the two of them on account of their transgressions. Then God commanded the beasts, and the birds, and all that moves on the earth, to come to Adam and to be familiar with him, and not to trouble him and Eve, nor yet any of the good and righteous among their offspring. Then all the beasts paid homage to Adam, according to the commandment of God, except the serpent, against which God was angry. It did not come to Adam with the beasts.